Welcome back to the Relaxing Ghost Channel here on YouTube. Today we have another WWE DVD to review for you guys. We got Backlash 2023 with our sticker inside. Now someone did note that uh, WrestleMania did come with a Bianca Belair sticker which was not included in the Blu-ray. I'm not sure why, but yeah, that's a thing. So yeah, people were uh, complaining once again that they removed the WrestleMania part out of the Backlash name, which is just silly. Uh, it sh should have never been WrestleMania Backlash, but yeah, here we are. A fantastic event from Puerto Rico. And, of course, this was in San Juan's capital, uh, Puerto Rico. And this was at the Coliseo de Puerto Rico, Jose Miguel Argalo. Hope I said that correctly. May the 6th, 2023. Uh, reported 17... 1,944, so very good crowd for this. Let's uh, open her up and see what we got. So yeah, you guys just seen this was brand new. I just took the wrapper off, off camera, and there is no sticker for the ghost. I just have terrible luck with these DVDs. No stickers, no tops cards. I get nothing here. <laughs> so, I'm going to have to deduct a point for that. So, this was a, a fantastic pay per view. And I got to give it to WWE this year. Uh, whether it's in, in Montreal for Elimination Chamber, the Royal Rumble, and I believe it was the Alamo Dome, um, WrestleMania which is always a, a spectacle in itself, going to Saudi Arabia, Puerto Rico, London. WWE has just been on this never-ending roll. Fantastic shows, amazing crowds, and very good matches. I, I think they're, they're just a complete package right now. And you could say whatever you want about their TV product, when it comes to pay-per-views and premium live events, if you want to call them that, they're unbeatable right now. I know AEWs are usually up there, but I I just think AEWs a step behind. I don't know what it is, whether it's the talent. I know their crowds are, are just very invested to the product, but that's another discussion for another day. I think WWE is just, they're up there. So, the cover, we got Cody Rhodes, Brock Lesnar. I I don't know what it is, but I'm just not really into this feud. They've had some good matches, just not into it. We got Bad Bunny making his return after, you know, brief hiatus and Damian Priest. I don't know any songs or anything about Bad Bunny, but man, this guy is just, he's got it when it comes to wrestling. Got a pretty cool spine here. I really like it. You know, Puerto Rico influence. You got Bad Bunny there with uh, Priest once again. And yeah, we kind of got a star home video logo. Very cool. Really cool backing. You know, we had that appearance from uh, Carlito. The LWO. With... Uh, Oh, man, don't do this to me. Don't do this, brain. Savio Vega, Puerto Rican legend. Carlito making, uh, you know, special appearances. So we got a runtime of 180 minutes. There's no special features or anything like that. No pre-show matches. So, yeah, Cody Rhodes was seeking revenge 
against Brock Lesnar. And yeah, that was a San Juan street fight. So yeah, if you've seen already, Backlash 2023. Still not the uh, <laughs> discard I'm looking for. And then yeah, we got several shots from the matches. Rollins, Omas, Theory, Rhea Ripley, and Zelina. You got the big man over there. Solo and KO, Bianca and Io Sky. So yeah, I thought this was one of the better B-show pay-per-views we've had in a really long time. You know, you could throw Elimination Chamber up there. But like I said, WWE has just been on this roll lately. Only seven matches on this event. Uh, we had a women's title match. Bianca Belair versus Io Sky. Seth Rollins versus Omos. And uh, yeah, this was right before they introduced the uh, the new world titles, the new women's championships, and uh, Seth Rollins would be on his way to winning that new world heavyweight championship. We had a triple threat between Lashley, Bronson Reed, and U.S. champion Austin Theory. Zelina Vega challenging women's champion, SmackDown women's champion at the time, Rhea Ripley. And I'm very happy they did not go the belt swap route because I am not a fan of that. They introduced a new, uh, whatever they called it, women's world title, and it Gave that to Rhea Ripley. We had a San Juan street fight. Damian Priest versus Bad Bunny, who paid homage to the recently passed uh, New Jack, bringing that shopping cart full of goodies to the ring. And yeah, like I showed the back there with uh, guest appearances from Carlito and Savio Vega, LWO. Oh, really cool. We had the Bloodline, Solo and the Usos versus Matt Riddle, Kevin Owens, and Sami Zayn in a six-man tag. And then Cody Rhodes versus Brock Lesnar in a singles match. I really thought this could have used a stipulation as well, but they already had the San Juan Street fight, and I'm guessing they're saving a stipulation for SummerSlam. So, very cool. You know, Brock and uh, Cody are going to get the the three matches, you know, standard WWE feud. So, I'm looking forward to SummerSlam as it stands. But, you know, not so much the Cody and Lesnar stuff. You know, I get it. Brock Lesnar very, very much seems on autopilot at this point. But, you know, you still got to uh, appreciate the fact that Lesnar is almost 300 pounds. He's, I think, over 40 years old at this point. He's still putting in work. He is one of the most believable guys they have. So, overall, I'm, I'm a bit disappointed in the sticker missing. I don't even know who it was. But, uh... Yeah, if, if you were able to get a sticker with your copy, if you were able to pick this up, comment down below some of your favorite matches and moments from Backlash 2023. As always, we'll talk to you later. Peace.